So in these verses, Krishna talks about there are three kinds of happiness. Uh, and he says that the happiness that tastes like a poison in the beginning, but its result is like a nectar. That happiness is the wholesome happiness. And it arises from the self-realization. Uh, Atma buddhi. Atma buddhi prasada. And uh, so the happiness that tastes as a poison in the beginning, uh, but its effect is like a nectar. For example, uh, let's say something like, uh, uh, a good example can be uh, that the parenting, right? I'm not a parent, but <laughs> uh, for a parent, uh, taking care of a child, especially the newborn child, is not so easy, right? It tastes like a poison for sure. I mean, so much effort is required. They cannot sleep properly. They cannot, uh, you know, prioritize their own uh, well-being or prioritize their own desires uh, because it takes a lot of effort to raise a kid, right? Uh, but if somebody who is doing it right, right, even though it tastes like a poison in the beginning, uh, its effect is very satisfying, right? The, the people who are raising the kids, um, you know, later they can say if they have done it right, that it is one of the most satisfying thing to do, right? Even though it, it felt not so good, it felt uh, very, um, you know, effortful in the beginning. It, it, it takes a lot of effort in the beginning, but its uh, result seems to be very satisfying. Another example can be is uh, self-discipline, right? Uh, where you are, you know, not engaging in things, maybe like uh, YouTube videos or maybe Facebook or something else. Instead of that, you put effort into whatever was more important, your health, you exercise. Instead of watching YouTube video, you exercise, right? That might not taste very good in the beginning, but its effect is going to be very satisfying. And that sort of happiness, right? That kind of happiness, um, is wholesome happiness, right? And the, 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 the underlying uh, teaching here is that whatever action you are doing has a fruit, right? And it's important to consider that fruit also when you are doing the action, right? No action is independent. Everything is very dependent, interdependent in its nature. Right. So whatever action you're doing is going to create the fruit. And if you're smart and if you're choosing the action, which is, which may not be, you know, feel very uh, pleasant in the beginning, but you know that its effect is, effects are very pleasant, then you can make a wise choice. Right. So he's saying this sort of happiness is uh, wholesome in its nature. This is kind of a sattvic happiness and it creates beautiful effects, beautiful results. Then he says the kind of happiness which uh, tastes like a nectar in the beginning and it comes out of the sense context. Uh, but in the end, it becomes like a poison, right? That sort of happiness is rustic happiness or unwholesome happiness, right? A simple example can be, you know, uh, eating unhealthy food, right? Uh, it tastes very good in the beginning, right? <laughs> That's why we are eating it. But in the end, it is going to have a result on our body, right? Our body is going to feel not so good. It's not good for our body. And so that sort of uh, happiness, right? It tastes good. So I took that happiness in the beginning. Uh, but in the end, the result of that happiness is uh, one that my health is not going to be very, uh, you know, vital. And then I might also have like a negative state of mind because, you know, I did something which wasn't really having any substance of happiness, but uh, I might have a pity or self-judgment or something like that. Yeah. So it created that kind of results, right? And it's it's important that the happiness that, that I got out of this, uh, you know, sense contact uh, was very limited or very impermanent in its nature, right? It was like a one second, it's like less than 10 seconds of happiness. But these effects are longer, right? These effects are not small, right? So Krishna is uh, pointing out here is these, you know, choosing happiness of these sense contexts is not a very smart choice, right? Because what you get is like 10 seconds of sense pleasure. That is also if you are aware what you are doing, right? Most of the time we are, you know, eating some burger and then we are looking at some other videos or something. So we are not even enjoying that. 
but even if you choose to enjoy that 10 second of pleasure um, then would that effect of that 10 second of uh, happiness is uh, the negative effect of that 10 second of happiness could have been much longer it could last you know if you don't know how to get out of that effect it could last for weeks months even you know for a lifetime uh, so that kind of happiness uh, here referred as a rasic happiness we can put any sense pleasure or even or any other kind of uh, you know uh, impulsive happiness you know even looking at youtube uh, you know you you're trying to get the happiness out of looking at tiktok youtube on all these things they give happiness and they are good nice to have you know they are, they they could be nice thing to relax but if you are trying to find happiness through these things uh, its results are going to be longer and uh, you know, it, it creates this internal environment which is unsatisfying. So this kind of a happiness is rustic happiness in the nature, unwholesome happiness in the nature. There's something there, but it has a very negative results. The third one is the tamasic or delusional happiness. And this Krishna says comes out of uh, uh, lethargy or, you know, sleepiness or indolent uh, negligence. Uh, these kind of happiness they doesn't have any happiness in it it's more like a delusion of happiness so they have no happiness in the beginning they have no happiness in the end uh, but they are just delusional kind of happiness and that is referred here as a tamasic happiness and that is clear no no <laughs> we should not uh, you know overindulge in these kind of stuff right sleeping whole day or you know uh, not doing anything just like walking here and there that sort of happiness yeah that is a tamasic happiness so these are the three three kind of happiness that krishna is pointing out here and obviously we need to maximize the wholesome happiness where we are taking a you know we are doing we are intentionally doing things which may not be you know very pleasant in the beginning but we know their effects are going to be much much uh, pleasant 